Virtual desktop and big screen are applications that let you project your desktop into VR. Both are available for the Vive and Rift, virtual desktop for 15 US and big screen for free. Here's my comparison of the two in their current states as of January 2018. We're going to start with usability. While using keyboard and mouse both are fairly easy to navigate, and while big screen is in my opinion the more visually appealing of the two, it does require a bit more menu digging than virtual desktop, which more or less has everything right where you need it. As for using motion controllers, Raz Big Screen has gone above and beyond with a handheld keyboard, laser pointer, control tablet, and specially designed interfaces, virtual desktop, maps the controllers to the mouse, and that's about it. Moving on to screen settings, both offer a good variety including distance, size, and curvature. Though if I had to pick a winner, it would have to be Virtual Desktop, for not only its greater level of precision and range, but also for having the option to lock the screen to your head. Now for environments, of which both offer a decent selection, however the level of detail and polish in big screens environments leave anything offered by Virtual Desktop in the dust. Let's now go through some of the unique features of each. A big part of big screen is its cross-platform social features, which allow anyone to create or join a public room to simply hang out, watch someone game or discuss My Little Pony. With these social features also comes the ability to create your own avatar, which is neat, and create 3D drawings, which is clunky as all hell but there nevertheless. On the flip side, Virtual Desktop, while lacking any kind of social functionality, does include a 360 video and photo viewer. Videos can be played either from file or streamed from the web. It also comes with a music visualizer it calls Milk Drop, and while I'm a sucker for music visualizers, I personally found this one somewhat underwhelming and nausea inducing. Lastly, Virtual Desktop also supports voice commands, such as Reset Orientation. They work excellently and are super handy. That brings us at last to the verdict. The real question here is are you getting anything more from purchasing Virtual Desktop than you would otherwise get for free from big screen? The answer, aside from voice commands and a 360 viewer that honestly isn't much better than the one included in Steam VR, not really, and certainly not enough to warrant the $15 price tag.